Okay, so this is my latest poor financial decision. I bought another piece of shit. Um, this is a 2011 Mazda Speed 3 that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. The previous owner, really nice, sold it to me for a steal. So I just had to pick it up and turn it into my next project car. So I can get out and show you. It was pretty well modified, which is why I'm guessing most people didn't buy it. It's got front mount intercooler, bolt-ons for the air intake, it's got downpipes, it's got a tune, it's got solid motor mounts, so it was a loved car, but I do want to make it also look like a nice car as well. So mostly what I'm thinking is that these issues are cosmetic first. There's some sort of spray or tinted taillights here. Plenty of stickers that I'll be peeling off. The whole roof completely sun faded. Of course, more stickers. Pinstriping going down the whole car. You see the custom Evil M badge. It's just a Mazda badge that was cut up. Got some faded aftermarket trim. Either needs to get painted or just fully replaced. This whole exhaust right here is about to fall off. And some more sun fading back on the spoiler and on the driver's side rear pillar, so. And I'll probably need a new door. That is rusting. Rusting underneath the paint, so. I also don't know what I would consider worse in this car, the exterior or the interior. They're both gonna need a whole bunch of work. So I think first, I'm gonna have to get this thing washed because it is filthy around here. So while I clean the car, I figured this would be a good time to go over why I even wanted to buy it in the first place. And that's because this car is something special to me. This is a 2011 Mazda Speed 3. This is the last generation of Mazda Speed cars produced by Mazda and it came equipped with a turbocharged inline four and a six speed manual transmission standard in every package. So this one in particular is the cheapest one I can find in my area on Facebook Marketplace. For only $4,000, I was able to buy a running and driving clean title 2011 Mazda Speed 3. Now I did take somewhat of a risk by buying this car, the 2.3 liter inline four engine that it is equipped with is not exactly known for being 100% reliable and if not taken care of correctly it can lose compression in the cylinders but i think that for the price i paid i'm willing to take that risk because even if it needs a completely new engine put into it it would still be cheaper than most of the other speed threes out there especially at the same mileage so my ultimate goal for this car is to turn it into my new daily driver I don't want to gut it and turn it into a race car, so that means I'm going to be keeping a full interior. I want to keep the radio, the AC, and all the comfort features that the Mazda came with. Of course, I'm not going to return it 100% back to stock. I would still like a little bit of a louder exhaust, wheels, tires, suspension, and a little bit of work done in the engine bay, but I want to keep a balance. That way, it's manageable as a daily driver car. I'm so excited that I was able to finally start this project. I'll do my best to try and record everything I do along the way, but I am only one person, so this is probably going to take a long time and a lot of videos, but I hope to see a great transformation from this car, and I can see a lot of potential. I kept washing the outside of the car until the sun went down, so that ends day one of the Mazda Speed 3 project. So this is day number two of working on the Mazda Speed 3. And today I'm looking to tackle the interior. It is pretty gross in here. All the nooks and crannies. So I've got a couple cleaning supplies with me, some rags and some soapy water. So let's get to it.
then somehow there's always a lighter down here when I buy these cars. I don't know how that's possible. It's only happened twice. But still, come on. It's uh, getting pretty dark out, so I can't really see what I'm doing anymore inside the car. So I'm gonna move to taking off some of these stickers. So with the last sticker off and the sun completely set, that's going to end it for the first video of the Mazda Speed 3 project. I have so much cool stuff planned for this car, but that'll have to come in another video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.